How's it going, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of Crypto Clout. I am your host, Phase Crypto, and today I want to talk about Digibyte and make a case for uh, really a big um, potential for Digibyte in the future. I mean, I always, <clears throat> regardless, I love making these videos uh, for the Digibyte community because I, I believe that the Digibyte community is probably one of the most uh, dedicated in the uh, entire cryptocurrency space. Uh, of course, we currently have Bitcoin's price coming in at 8,767, um, but I have an interesting article right here um, Digibyte is taking over um, the cryptocurrency market. Uh, Jared Tate uh, sustains, uh, uh, you know, interesting. Um, so, you know, increasing number of people are realizing that the, um, you know, over invested in dollars, uh, high time people take uh, to re reorientation of uh, their perspective. Um, and, uh, you know, I've cited uh, similar points uh, in previous videos where uh, I think that it, it is interesting just to look uh, at blockchain uh, from you know a perspective uh, as it is a very uh, you know emerging technology you know as we see a lot of these different uh, aspects and uh, components of uh, the space um, you know really coming into their own and uh, it will be very interesting to see how uh, Digibyte is able to uh, you know make uh, a lot of these different um, you know really capitalize on the uh, paradigm shift that's currently happening uh, I mean, and of course, the renewed attention that we've been seeing um, coming into uh, Bitcoin um, is definitely interesting. Uh, you know, there's a, a bright side to Bitcoin's drop on, uh, you know, uh, worsening unemployment. This is an interesting article as well. Um, you know, of course, we have uh, it, it goes on to say Bitcoin cooled off uh, after jumping to its highest levels in nearly two months uh, when it was up as much as nine thousand four hundred seventy eight. Yet, um, you know, it is a definitely an interesting uh, conundrum that we find ourselves in um, as of currently, uh, you know, with the unique uh, nature of the current situation that's occurring um, that I need not go too far into, you know, involving um, the global health um, issues and all these other things. Um, but it will be interesting just to watch how uh, Digibyte and, um, you know, especially because, I mean, we talk about, you know, Digibyte's faster than Bitcoin. You know, Digibyte is well spread around the world. And it has uh, a few unique characteristics, I think, that do set it aside from uh, the sort of old paradigm of cryptocurrency and really are representative of the new emerging class of cryptos that we could expect to see. Uh, and, you know, I would be I'd really be interested in seeing. Um, just what happens with uh, Digibyte and the like uh, as a lot of these different um, characteristics, I think, uh, set it aside from the curve, you know, especially while we see uh, a bunch of these other um, cryptos having um, having sort of their day in the sun. Um, but when we talk about actual uh, what crypto is ready to, um, you know, step up to the plate, uh, you know, and I think uh, this is really one of um, the parts of the argument that many people ignore um, you know, which is, of course, that, you know, Bitcoin uh, could sort of fumble out of the gate uh, when uh, Digibyte, I would imagine, would be one that would be able to sort of uh, steal um, Bitcoin's girl, uh, you know, more forward thinking, you know, much faster, more secure. And, of course, the big one, which is true decentralization, um, which I think is probably one of the biggest selling points um, that Digibyte does have going for it. Um, so yeah, I see the potential for Digibyte is you know limitless. I think the potential for a six dollar um, Digibyte, you know, especially in a world where I mean, if people can make an argument for a two hundred fifty thousand dollar Bitcoin, then the, no question that I could easily make an argument for a six dollar um, Digibyte. Um, now you got to take into consideration also we are very early. Um, you know, those of us paying it, you know, cryptocurrency people are uh, extremely early, you know, we're very early to the party. I mean, the party hasn't even started yet. We're still uh, out at the store buying punch and, you know, planning the date for the party. It hasn't even begun um, yet, but we are seeing the beginning sides of it. You know, people are calling their friends and inviting them to the party and uh, it, it's going to be good. I mean, it'll be interesting and, you know, the part of my metaphor, you know, the yeah, I mean, so um, the case for a full-blown pre-having FOMO as Bitcoin rallies uh, starts at 8.8K. I mean, it is interesting. I mean, we could be seeing signs of uh, 
adoption uh, sooner than we think. Um, Bitcoin in the last 24 hours recorded an unprecedented jump starting in uh, early hours of Wednesday. The digital asset has uh, climbed from its uh, long-term support of 7.8 to uh, reaching as high as uh, 9.4 achieved a few hours ago. Uh, the strong upward trajectory has been attributed to uh, the entry of uh, speculators who are uh, looking to cash in on the upcoming halving, um, which is interesting, you know, very interesting. We have the halving, we have all the things that are happening with uh, markets right now, um, and a very, very interesting sort of uh, perfect storm sort of situation. But of course, remember, this video is for entertainment, educational purposes only. You know, I'm not your dad. I'm not your financial advisor. Uh, you got to do your own research as this market is a very um, high risk, high volatility space. Um, but it will be interesting just to see what happens. And we have Novogratz. Um, Telegram should integrate uh, Bitcoin, which is sort of off topic, but it's still very much on topic. Uh, so famous investor and head of Galaxy Digital Market, um, Mike uh, Novogratz, uh, claims Telegram team should uh, dedicate time to integrating with Bitcoin, which I'm inclined to agree with. This tweet goes on to say Telegram should enable BTC and stable coins on their platform. We don't uh, need another blockchain. We uh, don't need another crypto. They have an awesome community of uh, messaging users turn them into customers, um, which I, I think uh, is interesting to see. It would be cool if something like that did occur. Um, but uh, yeah, so... Uh, all that being said, you know, I think I've made my points pretty clear. I think this has been a pretty good video. I mean, I've made a, you know, I just wanted to make a case for, you know, a $5 Digibyte and beyond. Um, and I think that we do see the um, early stages of that sort of bull market um, rearing, you know, in the, in the background. So a lot of positivity. Um, you know, I hope that everybody is out there is doing well, you know, healthy and otherwise. And financially of course um, but yeah all that being said I hope you guys have enjoyed this video I'll see you guys in the next one um, have a good one